Well, apparently, Ezra Miller may have a future as the Flash, despite James Gunn shakeup. No, anyways, that's not really what we were. Yeah, didn't for. this dude like this cause a no. whole shit ton of issues? This so is apparently, the wrong this is like two articles, <laughs> the two two topics smashed into one. Yeah, this is two topics smashed into one. But so Ezra Miller has done a lot of fucked up shit over the last year. Uh, he was harassing people in Hawaii. Uh, he got let out of jail. He got arrested for harassing people. He got let out of jail that night, bailed out by people he made friends with, and then stayed at those people's houses, then got wasted and threatened to kill them. And then they called the cops on him, then took him to jail again, and then started being like this whole escapade in Hawaii where he was just going to jail all the time with everybody and then it turned into like him kidnapping someone and then him having a cult. an underage apparently yeah and then he had a cult and now warner brothers is still thinking of keeping him as the flash in future movies but one thing i read was they watched the movie and were like this movie is so good we want to keep him <laughs> oh really yeah. was that yeah. what it was so i don't know what's going on at ezra uh, there was a there was a point in time where I was like, I kind of like this guy, but then in the past year, I, every time I read his name in the paper, <laughs> in the paper, like I went to the store, like, I oh, know. he's in the paper again. <laughs> but yeah, definitely don't like this guy now. So, what do you guys think? Do you think he should stay, <laughs> in a, as a character? Be- just because he's good at it? Can you <laughs> fill, fill me in on this. What else has Ezra Miller, outside of The Flash, what has he done? He was in Fantastic Beasts. Okay. He's a character in all those movies. He's done a lot of indie stuff. Okay. Um, he was in a movie. <laughs> what One of the first movies I ever saw, he was in a movie called We Have to Talk About Kevin. And it's a movie about how one child in the family has always been problematic. And then they, at one point in time, he goes to the high school. Let me guess. Ezra Miller is the problematic one. Yes. Yeah, he is. And he, (laughs) he goes to the high school and locks everyone in the gymnasium and shoots people with a bow and arrow. And so (laughs) that's cool. So, all right, I'm going to watch it. Funny that it reminds me of his real life shit that he would really do. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, in these types of situations, it, I think it does come down to like, all right, the severity of it. Obviously, there's professionals that are trying to like sort this out and like the allegations that they have against him. Um, I assume that he's just in a place in his career where he's like redeemable, I guess, where people think that he, Apparently despite he's getting help, but yeah, despite what's happened, they think that he still, you know, can come over on the on top and and be marketable and and respectable. And actually, who is Ezra Miller, and what did he do? <laughs> harsh. Oh, he allegedly broke into someone's not even a note about his movies. Um, so here is what I think. Um. I think that the movie's already filmed, right? The Flash is already filmed. Yeah, yeah, it's already filmed. It's been for a minute. This is a a big ticket movie. This isn't a cheap, you know. Right. This isn't. Now, there was that, like, Dawn of the Dead kind of, uh, Day of the Dead. I can't remember what the movie is where they digitally replace a character. Do you remember that a couple of years ago? It was oh, yeah. On Netflix. They took out, they they, took out they, fucking they, the. Batista was in it? Yeah, they took out the diddler. They took out uh, Chris D'Elia. Who got accused of allegations? He was the helicopter pilot, and they replaced it with that chick. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. they could do that, <laughs> and I know a lot of. Uh, people but she wasn't a main character, though. She was right. like right. in the she, movie for right. like five minutes, and that's the point I was gonna make because a lot of people were like, replace him with Elliot Page. Stop. And and you know what? I'd be fine with that, but it, I I know how much money they've already dumped into this movie. It, it has to be ridiculous, and they're not they're not going to. Scrap this movie. Even well, though- you guys might have an answer to this, but like, how long until how okay, it's already been made. How long until the point of putting it out is the diminishing return? Does that make sense? It's supposed to be this year when it comes out, right? They're not going to sit on it for three years, though, right? They're not, and no, then release it in no. three years and be like after the fact. Not, and it's not five these superhero years. movies. They yeah. can't sit on because they, yeah, because they've got timelines because they shit. have continuity. They they're trying to create universes, and DC is the one that's fucking so far behind on trying to create and establish a universe. Yeah, yeah. 
It's just crazy though to Google him and then see all this like all of these news articles about how like uh, allegations, mental health, and like pleading guilty, burglary. You know what I mean? Like, it's just like you have to know that this dude is problematic. Oh, it's it's insane. But but the the messed up thing is so season one of the Flash, the show, that was like what twenty. 2014 or something that's like right because yeah. he did the show as well right no, well he was on it eventually but 2014 the show came out and then that same year they announced oh, the flash is so popular we're gonna make our own movie 2014 okay so they were in pre-production for a flash movie ever since 2014 now the flash show is on its last season and we still haven't got a flash movie so that's probably part of the reason where they're like, wow, we've been in production for this movie for a fucking decade. Now our lead actor is just a fucking shit bag. You know, and you're like, what do we do? And I didn't that, realize he was only 30. Wow. Yeah. So it's just wild. I thought he was younger, to be honest. I'm super. And that's where I asked, like, what's the diminishing returns? Because let's say he doesn't get any help you know, within the next year and a half. Like, what if they are? Okay, we're going to wait to make sure he's got a good year <laughs> under his belt. Nice search. <laughs> also, oh, wow. I mean, he's he's <laughs> yeah. Look, what? He obviously like has a a like mental issue. I don't even think it's no. Nah, it's I, mental. No, no, it's it's, it's mental. mental. But like, I think he's. I don't know. I don't even know where to go. With I that. still say the word if you want me to say it. I'll say it. <laughs> Retarded. <laughs> no, I definitely don't want to say that. <laughs> no? I definitely want to say that. It's just wild. <laughs> Some of these old almost. I thought that was a penis. <laughs> Me too. Just kidding. Homeboy just got his beard. I, I, listen, I just this dude needs help. He needs help. I, I don't know how he ad- identifies right now or or whatever, but he's got some serious issues. And all you can hope for is that he gets the proper help and fixes whatever crazy path he's on right now, because. <laughs> It's just I can't. Like some, yeah, which somebody, one do you pick? somebody should have just looked at these pictures and been like, you know what? Keep going. <laughs> we're, we're not even in the weird ones. I don't think. Keep going. Keep going. He's not even a big enough star to be doing this. Like, yeah. crazy. Like Matt Stone and Trey Parker. Like you know when yeah. they wore dresses, yeah. they still. Nah, wore- but this guy is like about it though. Matt Matt Stone and Trey Parker were doing it as a joke. Right. <laughs> this dude thinks he's fucking Waluigi. Or <laughs> whatever, fucking the mushroom, toad. the toad, yeah. Yeah, he's just, he's a wacky guy. And, you know, you could, you could be wacky. <laughs> Stop. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. But when you start kidnapping people. Please go back to the bunny. Okay. And starting cold. What is this? Stuff. I've worn bunny ears before. Oh, no. He did a whole photo but shoot. But did you look that good? Probably not. <laughs> he did a whole photo shoot. Like this. <laughs> Let's see here. Ezra Miller. Look, I'm not, I, I don't. I'm not even hating on that. I like, mean, I don't hate on it either. If but I could wear like, heels, <laughs> but like, first of all, if, they if look you too dress, big. If you dress like this and you're known for dressing this weird, don't go kidnapping people and harassing. Don't people. do the weird stuff yeah. <laughs> if you're already like, yeah. you know, not the norm of society. Right. So yeah. It's no, this, it's a colla- look. It's a fucking <laughs> collection of all this. This chick in the corner. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I just this meme. Is this the kind of shit you want made? Because I don't know if I can do that. But that's yeah, the kind dude, of shit. that's what I, I want. I just hope I that, that okay. Go to the look at him. Look at him in the business suit with the bunny ears. Yes, look at this. Ezra Miller. <laughs> Look, we all wish we <laughs> your all, dog. Your dog is so mad right now. We all wish we could squat like that in heels. Oh, I can. Oh, I, I can squat like that. You in know heels. what? We need pictures. I'm one hundred percent confident. I can. <laughs> I can. You know, say what you want about the man. He's weird, but damn, you make a pose like this and you go, uh, "I started a cult and I kidnapped someone," and it's super weird. Did he really start a cult? Supposedly. Yeah. Allegedly. Appar- apparently, the. The girl he kidnapped, they found him at this like big private estate where he like had a bunch of people there, and apparently it was like he was grooming people and like all sorts of weird shit. Yeah, any, it's called any, Hollywood people. <laughs> any of the bad stuff you could like think about. Ezra Miller was doing it. All right, yeah. perfect. Let's just see cult, and then we'll move on because 
our chat, Evil Ghost Ninja says uh, Ezra is a IRL supervillain. <laughs> oh, that's the yeah. villain. That's the villain origin story of the yeah, Flash. No shit, is right. Ezra Miller? Uh, Sam McCoy said, "When's the last time someone bought the paper to read the gossip columns?" Rickshaw will tell you. That. Yeah. And then, and then I was he, at the food for less, and I bought me up a bunch of newspapers. I took all of them though, handed them out. Uh, he also <laughs> says Keanu would make uh, would be a hilarious replacement for the Flash. He's Asian. He looks twenty years younger than he is. <laughs> yeah, I just got I got to get on that treadmill. <laughs> but yeah, here's another article about he's being accused of grooming minors and leading a cult. You know. Anyways, let's move on. He's a I bad just, person. Yeah, it's like you know what? I might still go watch the movie because I need a fucking flash movie. Uh, look, yeah, that, you've been waiting a while. That makes that, sense. That is one of the tragic things. Is like all the other actors, all the other people that worked on this movie. Yeah, and then one. F- it's and it's the same thing with music. Yeah, it's the same sucks. thing with video games. We've we've talked about it with with the Rick and Morty uh, voice actor. One person can fucking really tank a a very expensive project and it sucks and this is the like the people that are involved in those types of projects they get residuals when the movie gets syndicated or it gets picked up by like a program and gets paid on like a yearly basis and like superhero movies obviously have their place in like the pop culture world and the crossovers so it is preventing a lot of people from being in a position where they could probably be better off because you know they're gonna play that shit on tbs (laughs) <laughs> over and over. Oh yeah, like in the fucking DC marathons. Yeah. Whenever they have their fucking universe Look, figured out. I, I think I think I'm gonna watch this movie no matter what. You're gonna uh, just because one, I love the Flash. Yeah, uh, and they they cast like four different Batmans in the movie, but have have decided to kick out two of them or right. some shit. I look. This what? is this is this is it's what like I, four different actors that have played Batman. So okay, so apparently. Michael Keaton, Batman, Stop. was was in the movie because they were doing this weird timeline stuff to where he like, they're they're yeah, yeah it's yeah. like what we were talking earlier like you can't mix yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> attitude era with yeah. but anyways oh no apparently <laughs> apparently Michael Keaton Batman was in it and then they tried to like backtrack and they were like no this is gonna confuse so many people so then they put Ben Affleck. Uh, in it as Batman to like replace those scenes. And then a new thing I read was the whole thing got scrapped. The whole Batman stuff got scrapped from the movie. So who, oh, who no. knows what Batman we're going to see if we see Batman. But That's what's the yeah. worst about DC in their entire universe is yeah. they come into every project with four different ideas and then they do all four ideas, but they're like, oh, we're going to leave this out, but we're going to have an extended cut of this and right. they do this. And it's just like, yo, what? Stop making eight versions of the one movie you have and just make us our universe already. Like, Warner Brothers is like, look, we can't give y'all any more crack to write this script, okay? We seriously, can't, we can't. dude. <laughs> but we need more crack. We haven't figured out the ending. I know. <laughs> what the fuck? Did okay, real, not to decide, but did anybody see Birdman the movie? I loved Michael Birdman. Yeah. Birdman. Oh was great. my god, dude! I didn't realize halfway through that it was just it, the like story of him and Batman. Like I didn't. Yeah, <laughs> realize that was what it was, and I got it, and I was like, "Oh, this is brilliant!" It is. It was good. It was really good. Great movie. The track shots. The track shots are great. It, there's a bunch of th- that. Me- that movie is shot beautifully. There's a yeah. there's a horror movie that does all. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs>